Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am really excited to show you this makeup look. I think this is the best look I've ever done. The main thing about this look is it makes your eyes look bigger. Let's begin. By the way guys, please subscribe to my channel for more makeup videos and I have new news. I'm starting a new makeup business. If you want your makeup done by me, follow me on my new Instagram page at Makeup by Dunya R. For the foundation, I'm using the Juvia Place foundation in shade Cebu. I love this foundation. I actually got it when I was having terrible acne. It's a lot better now, but at the time I had all like this redness, swollen bumps, there was a lot of scars and indentation. Yeah, it was just terrible and this foundation really helped me cover all of those problems at the time. It didn't look cakey and that stuff. It actually stayed pretty matte and it made my pores look tighter. I got it for, it's actually $20 and it lasted throughout the day pretty well. And it's full coverage. I think you should add this to your makeup collection. I can't live without it. After I'm done putting my foundation and concealer, I always set it with powder. Maybelline actually has great powders. Their foundation powder and baking powder, they cover and set amazing in my opinion. They compete over high-end products. That's why I always stick with these two. So for contour, I'm using this IT CC foundation powder. I got it as a bonus gift in my, in my package and it wasn't my shade. I wanted to give it to someone who could use it but I didn't know who so I ended up just using it as a contour shade and it works really well. We're just going to keep blending and blending till it blends pretty well and I showed you how I contour my nose. I like to keep it narrow on the surface area. That's for my nose. For eyeshadow, we're going to begin by using the Juvia Place eyeshadow palette called Warrior 2. I love these colors. Actually, the story behind it was I was looking for a new palette. I was bored of mine and I wanted to check out Juvia site since I loved their foundation. Apparently, their whole website was having a big sale and I was trying to decide like, what eyeshadow palette should I get? They had all these kinds of single color theme palette. Um, like there was some pink ones, purple, so I was just looking for a multi-use palette. So I saw this palette and I was like, you know, the pink and the orange can be used as blush, the browns can be used as contour, and the rest can be like whatever eye look I want to do. So now this is in my to-go makeup bag in my purse. I, I'm obsessed with it. I only got it for $5. That's crazy. The pigments are strong. That's, I think, um, about Juvia Place products. Recently, I have not been a big fan of winged eyeliner. I don't know why. I feel like it looks too much and very fake in my opinion. I like to use shadows to smoke out my eye. Liner hides my eye beauty shape. So you can see I started off with the brown shadow and then added black on top of it. And now I'm dragging it slightly out of my eye and then reaching down under my lower lid area. Most anime looks go for that wide big eye look. So that's why... What they do is they use black eyeliner and drag it away from the eye and then bring it down to the lower lid area. In my opinion, it just doesn't look good up close. You know when you want to go out and you're talking to people or anyone and they can see your eye makeup? If I have black eyeliner dragging all the way out of my eye far and then bringing it down towards my lower lid area, I would feel very uncomfortable. So that's why I'm going to use shadows and blend perfectly and lightly around my eyes. Oh yeah, so you're going to fill in, the only time you're going to use liner, eyeliner is to fill in inside your lashes, not on your eye. So for this look, you're going to want to get lashes that kind of flare out of the eye. That's why I'm actually using eyelashes to extend out of my eye instead of winged eyeliner. In my opinion, it looks a lot more natural. Once you're done putting your lashes, you're going to take an eyeshadow color. Personally, this has been my favorite color for under my eyes. I think it looks amazing on me. It really blends with my makeup and it doesn't matter what eyeshadow color I use on my lids. This color looks amazing. So we need to find out what warm color suits you the best and just use it under your eye. The, the next part, you're going to use shimmery but bright eyeshadow. Not glitter shimmer, like a really strong shimmer. This palette does really well for that. And you're going to put it in your inner corner of your eye and drag it towards the inner lower lid, lower eyelid towards the center. And then also slightly above on my upper eyelid inner area. This is gonna make your eyes bigger and open. 
So this is the Anastasia blush. It's one of my favorite blush palettes. And you can see the middle color is not my favorite. I don't know why. I love the color. The color is not my problem. I don't like the little gold glitter in it. It feel I feel like it disrupts my makeup. I just don't want glitter on my cheeks. I'm not a fan of it. I like the colors next to it. So, by the way, for the Benefit Brow product, I'm using number 5. It's not a 2. I was only able to find the picture online with the number 2 on it. This is number 5 again. Number 2 is actually more of a brown orangey warm tone color i had it before that's why i cut number five it's more of a cool brown tone for my eyebrows i'm not sure if you can tell from here the center area of my brow has more hair the outer of my brow area does not have as much hair so that's why i like to fill in the ends of my brow also i don't like to focus on the front of my brows i feel like it starts to look artificial i like it to look feathered um, I don't know. I just don't feel like it suits me that well. For some people, it looks amazing, but for me, it's just um, too much. I'll fill in gaps if there's like major bald spots in the front of my brow, but that's about it. If you ever lose your eyelashes, you should try this mascara. I always lose my eyelashes every other month. Not sure why, but my lashes like to shed a lot and I run into bald lashes often and this mascara saves me each time. When I applied this every day, even on the bald areas, I noticed that my lashes sprout faster than if I was not using anything. Also, it's a great mascara in general. This is the final look guys. I hope you like it. I feel like it makes my eyes look thicker. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and like this video. I will add a slideshow of all the products I use towards the end. Have a nice day guys. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.